Let's take a look at how to write to a text file using Kotlin. So we are going to make use of Java I/O file here for this tutorial. So first thing, check out whether you have Kotlin installed or not by typing on command prompt Kotlin C then dash help. Okay, if you can see command line options, just like this, then you have Kotlin installed properly on your system. Okay. So let me clear the buffer and next thing is to open a text editor such as Visual Studio Code and creating a file that ends with extension .kt. Okay, and I'm in same directory from command line as well. Okay, so I'm going to write the code and run on command prompt. Okay, so first thing is to import Java IO file. Okay, the next thing is to create our main function with array string. Okay, now inside this, you can type in try and then file name. And here, let's say I want to name my file as something like Timnami kotlin.txt okay make sure that you have double quotes on this and after our file name let's create my file okay so this file will generate your file name here on disk this should be done in try block okay so my file dot print writer here we are going to use pipe command so with print writer use and then from within use we are going to write our rest of the code so without okay so for out let's say out dot println and here I can write something like Tognami YouTube Kotlin file right okay also on next line I want to write in end of write file okay once you run this block of code in catch block we are going to catch exception okay and for that we can use e dot print stack trace okay after that in finally block we are simply going to type in this okay so this is my drive block then let's say I'm gonna try this in catch. Okay, and finally, then print line, you can print something like underscore to show that it is executing no matter whether try and catch block executes or has error. Okay. So let's try and find out if our syntax works. So uh, that being said, let me just try this. Okay, now open command prompt and here you're going to type in Kotlin C, then hello.kt, then include dash runtime dash t then hello dot jar okay so hit enter and find out what are errors that you may face or if it executes without error then it should come to black prompt okay so if it comes with blank prompt that means your text file is created right so open explorer then navigate to the directory where you have your kotlin file and 
and then to check whether you have your text file created just run your java dash jar and then hello dot jar file okay so it returns with this underscore that means finally block is executed and here you can see your text file is also created Okay, as you can see, it has exactly the same content that we passed from our trial block. Okay, that goes to show you Kotlin has successfully written some text to a text file. So this was a short demo on how to write the text file using Kotlin.